What's going on guys, my name is Austin Collins and today we're going to be talking about Red Dead Redemption 2. Rockstar officially confirmed the sequel via their Twitter on October 18th, and we received a trailer shortly after. While they've been able to keep this project under wraps, apparently it's been in the works for 5 years now. And while Rockstar has proven time and time again that they know what they're doing as a game developer, here are some things I hope that they implement into the game to make it as good as it can be. 2013's Grand Theft Auto V introduced the gigantic, bustling map of Los Santos, and Rockstar is sure to give us no different with Red Dead Redemption 2. But it is imperative that with this large map, they implement a fast travel feature, because I don't want to be traveling kilometers at a time on horseback. With none of the modern day luxuries Grand Theft Auto V had, such as jets and Zentornos, it would be a total bore to have to traverse along large stretches of land on horseback. Red Dead Redemption 1's character customization consisted of a few preset outfits that you could select for your character. However, I think it'd be better for Red Dead Redemption 2 is if they went more in-depth so you could select separate cowboy hats, bandanas, or even apple bottom jeans and boots with the fur. One feature I hope they bring back from Red Dead Redemption 1 is the Deadeye ability. This special ability allows you to slow down the world around you and aim, such as Vats from the Fallout series. Another thing I do hope they add is a larger variety of melee weapons, rather than just the single hunting knife we got in the first Red Dead Redemption. I don't know why, but for me saying Red Dead Redemption over and over again is like a tongue twister. Making this video is like F in my brain. I don't know. Now as far as their online infrastructure goes, I don't think anybody would complain if they simply just copy and pasted what they use for Grand Theft Auto V. Some of my best memories in gaming have been in GTA Online. What better place to race my friends, do death matches, or tell young children of my sexual encounters with their mothers? And I'm sure these shenanigans will be no less fun in the wild, wild west. One feature from Grand Theft Auto V that I think they should bring to Red Dead Redemption 2 is the ability to create races and death matches and such for online. Another feature that Rockstar didn't introduce until the PC version of Grand Theft Auto V and later on with the next gen consoles is the Rockstar Editor. This surprisingly powerful suite allows you to make some pretty cool home movies using the game. But what's really going to make or break this game is if Rockstar decides to support it. If it gives it the same support that it gave Grand Theft Auto V, then it's sure to be a hit. I mean, Grand Theft Auto V is three years old and we're still getting constant updates and features that just keep drawing you back in. And if that's their game plan with Red Dead Redemption 2, then I'll be sure to pour in hundreds of hours. I mean, I don't mean to brag, but I played the crap out of the first Red Dead Redemption game. It's actually one of my favorite games of all time, so I will for sure be picking up Red Dead Redemption 2 when it comes out in fall 2017. That's all, folks. Good night.